Hello everyone, I'm Professor Geek. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my reaction to the Batman costume tease that Matt, we, Matt Reeves just posted yesterday as I'm recording this. And a lot of people have been uh, talking about it on Twitter, <clears throat> for good or for bad. And then you have those other people who uh, who like to be, I don't know, I guess they just get off on thinking of themselves as a voice of reason or something like that. Calm down, guys. Calm down. We haven't even seen all of it. Well, okay, yeah, so we can't criticize the boots. But we did see some things, and we're, we're perfectly allowed to talk about those things. Stop acting like, you know, we can't make any judgment calls until we've seen the whole thing. Uh, all the way revealed, paid our ticket and seen the whole movie, seen it in action. That's ridiculous. So what we do see in the reveal, it's hard to judge color all the way because it is that weird red tint. I've seen a lot of people do some things on um, Twitter with Twitter with Photoshop or whatever and, and trying to change the color of the tint and, and make it look a little bit more as it, as it would, I guess. <clears throat> but uh, I think it's pretty clearly somewhere between black and gray, at least. I don't think there could be any hues of blue because you know at one point one of the rumors was that they might be going for sort of a blue and gray um don't think but you know i can't be totally sure obviously some grayish and, and uh, black there okay you know that's uh you know um that's been done that's fine yeah overall in a nutshell my reaction to it was disappointment but not a deal-breaking disappointment I really was hoping, and I just, you know, from some of the things that Matt Reeves had said about his approach to the Batman and to this film, I really was hoping that his would be the movie to truly give us a comic book inspired uh, Batman suit. I don't think we, I think the closest thing we had was Tim Burton's suit, but the, uh, you know, the, the technology of the day or whatever, you know, it, um, it, it is a little stiff, you know, it's still my favorite suit on screen by far, and I really do love the aesthetic of it. Um, but, you know, it was new. It was all black. That was the first time that had really ever been done. Uh, you know, certainly wasn't like that in the comics, you know. So I thought this was going to be the one that really gives it, you know, a comic book take, you know, whether it drew from Rebirth or from a more traditional. Uh, some people were saying, you know, it's going to take from the Batman Noel, which is a really dumb idea. And uh, I don't know if it did or not. You know, there's some aspects of this little reveal that could possibly be from the Batman Noel costume. But as I've said before in a live stream, the Batman Noel costume was never was never there to to uh to inspire people to say yeah more of this costume you know that story is about a batman who's fallen who's who's gone far too dark because of the loss of of dick grayson's robin in that sort of christmas carol uh structure of the story and and part of that story part of his growth is to make his way back to the batman that he was a little bit more lighthearted, you know caring about people not so harsh uh, when he was with Robin, and in the comics, it shows flashbacks to that to that Batman, which was in a more traditional blue gray costume, trunks and all. I thought it might be the first, you know, uh, on screen, big screen anyway, appearance to give us the trunks, but uh, apparently, apparently, I, well, I don't know. We didn't see him down below, so who knows? But a lot of people, I think it's hilarious on Twitter. You've got the Snyder supporters. They just won't go away. They've lost. They've they've objectively lost. They're not getting any more of their stuff, but they still just demand. Demand, demand, demand these things. They're saying, well, this Batfleck was the most the best bat suit we ever had. Are you kidding me? Stop it. Hey, maybe he's your favorite, and that's fine. He's your favorite. It's your taste, whatever. But uh, it's not. It's far from the most comic accurate suit. Absolutely not. Uh, the the uh, this the scowl. You know, if you look at the the Batfleck cowl, how the the um, you know the the brow is looking severe. You know, pointed down. Batman's not supposed to look like a demon. He's the Dark Knight. Yes, he is dark, but he's also a knight. You know, as Fan has pointed out many times, he's got that nobility. He's the guardian of Gotham. Stop dwelling so much on the dark that you miss the night. And he's also, um, you know, give him some freaking ears. He's a bat. You know, the, the ears were so short on that cowl that you might as well just been wearing a helmet. Then he's got this uh, weird, like, duct tape looking bodysuit. You know, to, to Snyder's credit, it wasn't wrapped in armor, you know, which is good because the armor's just so overdone. Um, but it just looked bizarre. It was like, you know, uh, Ben Affleck all puffy and stung with bees in a, in a suit of duct tape or something. It just, and then without the trunks too, it just looked like a pair of coveralls and the bat symbol was just this big bloated, looked like a coffee stain more than a bat. You know, that was the, no, 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 no. That is not the, the pinnacle of the bat costume in, in film by any means. Uh, this, you know, elements of this does look, do look good. It does appear that he's got the longer ears. That's good. Doesn't look like he's got any kind of severe brow built into the cowl or, cowl or anything. I like the way Robert Pattinson's jawline fits into the suit, uh, the cowl. That was actually pretty cool. Uh, 
this little weird like collar thing that he's got going on. That's new. Um, I'm not really pro or con on that. I'm kind of curious about it. See if you know how that plays out. I have heard that this is supposed to be a suit. Obviously, this is Batman's beginning days. And it's supposed to be something that, that Bruce Wayne would have just been able to sort of stitch together on his own there in the cave or whatever. And uh, people have shown some close-ups of the, uh, you know, again, you're clearing up the image in close-ups. And I think you can see, like, some of the leather stitching or seams, you know, in the cowl. If those, you know, if that's true, if that hasn't been altered or doctored, you know, so that that's interesting, you know. Uh, but my big, you know, the reason I'm disappointed is that uh, the the armor, the heavily armored look of it. Now, I'm not opposed to the bat suit having any armor whatsoever. Even in the comics, you know, the, it's it's pretty much canon that there is some sort of armor over the chest. That makes sense. That's why he wears the bat symbol there, you know, to draw to draw fire there. That's been you know done a number of different times in the comics throughout the years. But let's ease back on the armor. You know, it started with the Burton thing and that's fine. You know, it's that sort of chest armor. Okay. Don't go any farther than that. But then of course, Chris Nolan had to be in the, uh, or put uh, Batman in the, you know, complete and total paramilitary outfit. This, this reveal that, that Reeves posted looks very much as many people have pointed out, like he drew the most, the heaviest influence from the Batman Arkham Knight video game. And that's an awful suit. I know everybody was saying, that's so amazing. That it, it really is bordering on Iron Man levels at that point because he's got this joint plated armor over a like a liquid absorbent uh, mesh underneath or whatever so it moves independently as he walks and gives him flexibility. You don't need that level of realism. It's a comic book movie. I don't need to know and see the, all the specific little specs. You know, that's where, where Nolan's movies really aired by going into all the specifics of the costume. I, he makes a costume, make it look like a bat, make it badass, make him get out there and, and kick some butt. You know, that's, that's all I need. You know, I mean, minimal things like he's got a little armor here or there, or whatever, you know. So, um, so I'm hoping that this armored, heavily armored look doesn't carry out throughout the entire design of the costume. I can see the argument where a younger Batman might have been <clears throat> more, uh, more apt to, to wear a little bit of armor, still trying to figure out the game, you know, and stuff. But, uh, you know, that's what, uh, Arkham Origins did that game didn't really like that suit but I, but I thought it was it was believable that a younger batman might choose something like that you know so um so yeah i you know that's my basic feedback to the to the to the tease I, I'm, I'm disappointed i was expecting to really be wowed by a really cool comic book like the rebirth costume or something like that you know uh, i really thought reeves was going to be the one to give us that but apparently he's not he's going to go the 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 worn and, and well-trodden route of, of trotting out Batman in, in armor yet again. So, uh, but we'll see, like I said, there are good things about it. Um, you know, hopefully the ears you know, do prove to be as long as they do and we'll see, hopefully the Cape is nice and long and, uh, yeah, so we'll see. That's my uh, reaction to that. It's not a lot to react to because we didn't get a lot in the tease, but we did get some solid things to react to. I don't know what's going on with the bat symbol. It's, it's clearly jointed with the armor as well, but as big Al's pointed out, there are some weird, things in it you know like maybe it's a batarang that sticks there or something you know uh again that's just too much you know uh the utility belt held, holds the gadgets let's not let's not make his suit transform and dear god we've had enough of that scott snyder go away we do not need any of your stinking influence in the in the movies now every damn time scott snyder writes a comic book he's got to put batman in a robot suit enough that does not need to make its way on screen please so uh yeah that's that um Stick around for more live streams, more videos to come, and until next time, keep enjoying and digging deeper into the hero stories you love. Thanks for watching.